Okay, guys, welcome to Empowered Elite's team call for June 6th. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I haven't seen you in a while because we didn't have a team call last week. Um, some super exciting stuff happening this month. As a lot of you know, Summit is coming. It is only, what, two weeks away now? Um, so excited to see all of you. Um, going to have some updates going on in that um, Empowered Elites uh, Coach Summit page. If you're coming to Summit, make sure that you're in there so that you're kind of in the know of everything um, that is being shared and going on. Um, and huge thank you to Kelly Riley. I don't know if she, I don't see her on right now. Huge thank you to Kelly Riley because she is like the cruise director and I suck at things like that. Um, and she planned our big, huge team luncheon at a really fabulous place for us. Um, so she posted the information for that team luncheon in the Coach Summit page um, for our team. So just make sure you're kind of in there and in the know so that you don't miss out on anything. And if you um, want to be meeting up with people and things like that, that um, you can easily stay connected. So super excited to see everybody. Um, before we dive in, does anybody have any recognition that they want to shout out? Kelly. Kelly, I just said thank you to you. I don't know if you were on. <laughs> I don't think you were. <laughs> no, I was here. You just didn't see me. I was going like this. <laughs> oh, you, I thought you were going to unmute for recognition, but okay. <laughs> That's why you were waving. Now I get it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of dive in and do my best to um, kind of cover all of the important things and in the know and as we've talked about before launches can seem a little bit overwhelming sometimes so I kind of just want to help everybody feel like there is a game plan in place um, this is simple to navigate it's not really doing anything much different than we're doing we're just sharing about something new um, and we're gonna have another you know we have the sneak peek page open right now running so I just kind of want to run through some basics um, and some important dates to know and then I'm also going to share a little bit of my experience of being in the lift for test group, which a lot of you probably know that I got really injured and ended up with costochondritis during week three. Um, and I'm still kind of dealing with some neck and back issues. So I had to make the choice to step back, which sucked, but um, health comes first. So it is what it is, but I'm still in the page and I'm watching everything that's going on. So um, I'm able to kind of give an inside scoop of what's happening with everybody in there and just the excitement um, of this new launch coming. So um, the first thing that's most important is that right now we have, if you haven't seen it in the team page, um, I posted, I want to say about a week and a half ago, I posted a Google document um, for Lift 4 with all of the most important like FAQ information, the dates, um, all that kind of stuff with some graphics for pricing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post pricing graphics again tonight because um, I saw some of you were asking about those again. Um, you didn't know we had one. Yeah, there is a, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> um, so there is a lift for Sneak Peek Group. It's called, it says VIP at the end of it. So we're going to be using this VIP Sneak Peek page basically as um, I'm going to be scheduling some posts in there for the next six days of things that I'm like pulling out of the test group, just some transformations that are being posted of updates of progress because the test group is in week seven right now. Um, just sharing kind of the insight as to what this program is about, what the workouts entail, who it's for, who's going to benefit from it, and just giving some really great um, inspiration of what's possible with a program that's only four days a week. And not just that, but why that is so, so much of a game changer. Um, so please make sure that you go find that and add yourself to it. Um, and if you want, I can just, I'm going to write down to just post it again when I post the graphics tonight. But um, I'm not going to cover all of the pack options because there is a ton of them. Um, there's a ton of um, options for there's a normal challenge pack with Shakeology, but there's going to be a challenge pack with the Beach Body Performance line as well. But there's completion packs, there's accessory packs. So I highly suggest 
um, that you go look over the FAQ so you're kind of in the know. Obviously, we're not going to be memorizing prices. We never do things like that. But the most important ones you need to know are the challenge pack options, the completion pack options, um, and then just the accessory bundles, right? Um, so we are going to have the sneak peek open and running. Now, because some of you have been like, what are all these dates? I'm really confused. It is a little bit confusing. Um, so basically this program is pre-launching on June 11th. So on June 11th, people will be able to buy their lift for challenge packs, completion packs, accessory packs. Um, they're not going to get immediate access to the workouts um, on that date. So make sure that you know that so that nobody um, ends up like, wait, where is my stuff? Um, people who purchase when this, this VIP launch happens um, on June 11th or after that, um, they're going to get immediate access to their calendar, to their nutrition plan, to the weight loss and weight trackers. Um, they're going to get all of that, but there's also going to be four bonus workouts that are immediately released once they purchase um, on Beachbody On Demand. These are not actual lift for um, program workouts. They're kind of like an extra bonus that they're throwing out there, which is fantastic um, because my game plan for June um, and everybody on the team is welcome to partake in this is to kind of run a June challenge group as like um, a hybrid calendar for lack of better words with these four lift four workouts that are coming out and you know they kind of have BOD options so if people want to dive in in June and kind of get the ball rolling and get themselves in that consistent routine of focusing on nutrition of getting their workouts in to prepare themselves for the launch of lift four um, then they can go ahead and dive in and do that and I was actually had it on my to-do list to make um, a workout calendar for this since there obviously isn't one, but I saw Joel Freeman posted today in our test group that he is making um, a calendar for us, a workout calendar for us that is going to include these four workouts that are coming out and just kind of some beach body on demand exclusives. I'm guessing some yoga or stretching or something like that. Um, so as soon as I have my hands on that, I'm going to be um, sharing that. Now I have one kind of thing that I'm debating at this point and I would love for the team's feedback on this is we have two options. We can either turn the sneak peek page into the actual challenge group for June. So it's kind of a two component thing where we have people engaging in it and we have information going up about Lift 4 or we can just have a totally separate page that is going to be for the you know kind of June hybrid calendar um, which will then turn into an actual lift for challenge group for July. I'm kind of leaning towards the second option. <laughs> um, yeah, I think just a thought. Yeah. Um, just a thought. In yeah. What if we did kind of like a swap? So the June calendar goes in with the sneak peek yeah. so that it's people that yes have yeah. purchased and they're getting a feel for it. So the people that are in for the sneak peek also get a feel for it. But when the July launch happens and like the full program comes out, the yep. people that have purchased and only those that have purchased are then moved into that group. Yep. Well, I think the actual lift for challenge group that right. we in July needs to be separate because I don't want to have it be something where we have to remove all of these people and track who does what and who signs on and who doesn't. But, um, I kind of have been debating whether it's confusing or not if there's like workout posts going up and stuff and a sneak peek and people are like, what is this? Like, what am I joining? Because like, they're not going to be able to easily see the information and transformations about the program if there's stuff going up in there. So um, if everybody is kind of on board with that idea, then I um, will go ahead and set up that separate page. Um, and as people dive in after June 11th, we can add them to this separate kind of um, June launch group, and then it'll turn into a challenge group in July. Is everybody cool with that idea? Okay. Okay, so now that that's figured out. <laughs> 
Okay, so um, back to this whole thing about the hybrid calendar. We can start that on June 11th because that is when the actual workouts will come out on Beachbody On Demand and people will get access to them. So if people want to dive in right on June 11th and dive into this hybrid calendar with us, they can. If they are current Beachbody On Demand customers and they just kind of want to upgrade to be able to get Lift 4 early, um, they can dive in with us as well. So you can make sure to be sharing about this in your challenge groups. You can post the sneak peek link in your challenge groups um, and just say, hey, if anybody wants to check out information about our new program, you can join here. Um, you can obviously write your customers um, and talk to them as well. Um, but kind of getting this in front of as many people as possible is awesome. I actually am waiting on... Um, just a double okay to make sure that we can start sharing transformation photos that are coming out from the test group already. Um, I wanted to make sure of that before we start sharing them on social media. But once I get the green light on that, um, we'll be good to go to really start sharing those transformation photos of what has been happening in the test group of coaches right now because the results are absolutely incredible. And I can tell you that there is such a diverse dynamic of people in the test group right now that it's really fascinating to see um, how everybody's bodies are changing and just their whole mindset shift um, with the whole four day a week thing. Um, because in week one, there was a lot of apprehension about this being a four day program because a lot of us have been working out five, six days a week for a really long time that it was hard to wrap our heads around like, what do you do on a rest day? Or like, I'm so used to being in this workout routine. Um, and some, for some, it was kind of hard to say like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to like not working out six days a week, you know, myself included. I was like, I don't know <laughs> if I can hang with four days a week. But what I can tell you is that with four days a week, um, I think that you really avoid um, overtraining your body because you have plenty of time for your muscles and your body to restore and recover in between workouts, meaning that by the time you come back for that next workout, you're ready to rally. Like you're not tired, you're not fatigued, you're not super sore, you're ready to like push and give it your all. And I think that's a huge benefit um, of the, the four day a week layout. But I also think that it, you know, with that said, it really allows you to push yourself to maximum performance to get the most out of your workouts four days a week. Um, and along with the whole rest component is that this is going to be a fantastic program for people that are runners, for people that love yoga, for people that love spinning classes, for people that, you know, love going out and doing activities with their kids, but felt kind of boxed in by a six day a week program. Um, especially kind of busy moms, you know, even summertime, people that travel a lot. This is a fantastic program because if in the event, you know, we've all, I think we can all share the sentiment that you've done a program where you've been like, oh my God, my day is so busy today. Or I'm so exhausted. I and mean, you kind of beat yourself up, beat yourself up if you're struggling to get your workout in or if you missed it and then you feel behind. And a lot of times, um, I personally can say from experience, I've had a lot of customers miss a day and then beat themselves up about it. And then it kind of leads to that, like I'm failing mindset and I'm behind and I'm not doing this right. And it's, I'm not going to get the best results. Or I just think that sometimes because we want to be so regimented um, with that, that sometimes it's helpful to say like, you have three days a week to do whatever you want with them. And if you need to swap your workout days, you can do that. If you have a super busy day and you know that you can get your workout in the day before. Um, but on the actual calendar, the the rest days so you work out monday and tuesday you rest on wednesday you work out thursday and friday and then saturday and sunday are rest days so for example if you know you're going to have a super busy friday you can bump that workout to saturday right but it gives a lot more room for kind of grace and just for life and i think that is huge i think that it's something we've never had before i think that it is so needed um and the way that you push through workouts, people are going to be floored um, at the results they can get in, in 30 to 40 minutes, four days a week. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so the actual 
program itself, the actual workouts, when people start to purchase um, Lift 4, once this launches on June 11th, they will actually have VIP early access on July 16th. Now, make sure that you know that if they're just a Beachbody On Demand customer and they choose not to partake in the VIP launch, um, that their the regular launch date is going to be October 1st for Beachbody On Demand. So if you have Beachbody On Demand customers and they don't want to purchase Lyft for early and join the VIP group, they'll be able to get access to Beachbody On Demand October 1st. But I think this is a really great opportunity for us as coaches um, because we can all dive in early. This gives us a chance to really get familiar with the program, to do the program, to see results, to feel how it feels, um, to work out four days a week and have more time for rest and have more time for other activities or hobbies um, and see how your body transforms and see how your mindset about just kind of relaxing into a slower pace while also maintaining your lifestyle and your results um, and have that experience so that we can share our own testimonials and our own experiences and our own transformations before it actually truly launches in October. Does that make sense? So I personally am obviously going to suggest that every coach on this team um, does the VIP group with us and that you recommend that to your coaches as well. And I know I'm going to be encouraging my customers to dive into our VIP group as well. Um, I personally think that with looking at a lot of my, even my current customers um, or people that I've worked with in the past, um, that there was a a big struggle with not only fitness being so regimented, like I said, but with nutrition being super regimented as well. Now this um, meal plan, it is a portion control meal plan. Um, Joel is more about macros than he is about color coded containers, but um, it gives you a little more wiggle room to enjoy your life. So there is kind of like a lifestyle day um, where you can have a beer, or you can have some pizza, or you can have, you know, that cupcake you want or whatever. So um, again, I think it really helps with that mindset of thinking like, oh, I had a beer and I fell off or I cheated or I failed or I whatever, right? Um, I just think it's a really amazing way of saying this can be a healthy lifestyle, but this is something that is truly going to be maintainable for a long period of time. Um, and that's one of the main reasons I'm personally so excited about it because um, after doing programs back to back to back to back for four years, um, it truly was such a game changer to have a gift of saying like four days a week, you show up and you give it your all. And the other days, if you want to stretch or you want to do yoga or you want to go to the park and go for a walk, um, you're still staying a hundred percent on track. And I think that that's fantastic. So, um, for the actual kind of, before I go on, does anybody have any questions about any of the dates with a sneak peek or the group we're going to run? I posted a, um, a couple, well, no, one question, one comment in the little comment things, but I don't know if you see it or not. So I'm not oh, sure how this works. Let me look. <laughs> also, guys, say welcome to Ashley. This is the first ever team call. Um, she came out the other, well, I think it was two nights ago now. Um, yeah. She's lost over 75 pounds with her beach body journey. She's crushed it. And she's diving into coaching now. And now I'm on pause physically. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to look now. Um. Yes, yeah, sounds like a great transition from 80 day. Do we automatically get access early as coaches? No, we don't. That, that's a really good question though. <laughs> we don't for this. <laughs> Typically, a lot of the programs that launch on Beachbody On Demand, we do just get immediate access as a Beachbody On Demand member, but there's this, the way that they've done this was kind of organized um, by the Coach Advisory Board for us to kind of, like I kind of highlighted the whole being able to experience a program and get familiar with the program um, before we actually like start bringing it out more so when the October launch happens. 
Um, there also is an opportunity to be in a coach test group with Joel Freeman. So um, know that about the VIP launch as well. I'm sure that a lot of people want to get on just to look at him every day <laughs> from all the comments I've seen in our team. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> let's be real <laughs> listen in the defense of you know the whole coach thing being in those groups are actually really informative yes, <laughs> like just look yes. at him. yeah I mean, being in the 80 day group was awesome because autumn was giving a lot of information and being yes. in alana's group right now is really helpful yes so you got to give credit where credit's due although yes. he is beautiful for the eyes but still. yes um and i can say that from the test group, he has been fantastic about answering questions because when you are weightlifting and building muscle, your metabolism is revving and there was, you know, increasing appetites and a lot of kind of fielding basic questions, which he's been real, really fantastic about. And not just that, but um, of kind of ways to increase your weight, um, like how hard you should be pushing, like should it, should it be um, that you're lifting heavier or should it be that you're lifting l l like a little bit lighter to kind of max out on reps and things like that. So as we really kind of dive into that program, it will definitely be helpful to kind of have that insider scoop of how to walk people through things. Um, but now as for the actual workouts, I kind of wanted to um, explain a little bit more about them and just also my experience with them. Um, yes, the meal plan is pretty similar to 21 day fix. Um, with exception of the fact that there is a little bit more leniency in there, like I said. Now there was, um, I want to say I was following, I was following a, a meal plan bracket that was like 200 calories lower than when I did 80 day obsession and I was in plan D and I found in the first week that I was like starving. Um, but what he had suggested was for me to just up my protein intake. Um, so I think that it's something where people are going to have to kind of play with um, what they need in terms of as they develop muscle weight. It's going to be something where you kind of have to recalculate as your body changes and your metabolism revs up because that's one of the, the bonus plus sides of um, workouts that are hit you know, hit workouts that scorch a ton of calories, but also lifting weights where you're building lean muscle mass. So for these specific workouts, there are no nonsense. There's not like 30 second breaks in between moves. It's not a ton of talking and kind of interacting. It really truly feels like you're with a trainer in the gym and they're telling you what to do. And it's like, okay, finish this. And here's what's next. And here's what's next. And here's what's next. Um, and it was, honestly kind of fascinating to me because I, prior to having Declan, used to love going to the gym and I loved weights, but I obviously had zero clue what I was doing. <laughs> so um, these are really kind of, they're not complex movements. They're kind of basic movements that allow you to isolate muscles to the point where you work them out and you fatigue them. Like I can tell you in the first two weeks of it, I was like floored at how sore I was coming off of 80 day obsession. Cause I mean, after you come off a program like 80 day obsession, you're like, what's actually going to really challenge my body right now, you know? Um, but it's very dynamic in the sense that they're kind of basic, like they're moves that the majority of people will not struggle with, whether they're a beginner or whether they're an advanced level of fitness, but the way that the workouts are set up, um, it, who did the sneak peek workout of lift for the other day? So a handful of you. Okay, well, that was like a total body thing, which um, the majority, or at least the, the three weeks of it that I did, um, it was focused on like back and biceps, chest and triceps, shoulders, legs. So each um, body part kind of had its specific day. Um, and that's why I was saying that you literally, that whatever part of your body that you work that day is so fatigued by the end of your workout. Like you literally don't have an ounce more in you to give. Um, which was why I was so floored that in 30 minutes I could work up that kind of a sweat, but also like kind of push my body to a place of burnout, if that makes sense. Um, so it's like for most of the workouts, the ones that I was experiencing in the beginning, it's like three sets 
um, three to six sets of weight lifting component moves. Um, and then it kind of goes into the hit moves. Now, as I went on, some of them, the hit moves were thrown at the, in at the end of workout moves. Um, but the cool thing is that there is no two workouts the same. None of these workouts are repeated. They're all a little bit different. Um, so you obviously are never going to get bored because you don't exactly know what to expect. Um, there was some workouts, like there was a workout that was for legs that was all hit um, rather than weightlifting and hit. <clears throat> so I just think the simplicity of it, the way that it truly works your body like it does, and the component of building that lean muscle mass with kind of maxing out to shred out with the hit moves um, is absolutely amazing. Um, let me see what else I missed. No workouts repeated. Oh, this is important. Um, so there is a modifier for the workout. Um, so if people have never lifted weights before, um, if they're kind of intimidated by that, um, there is a modifier, but there is also going to be what's called a bandifier. <laughs> um, so it's someone that's doing the workout with bands rather than weights. So if you have someone that's like, I don't have any weights, nor do I have access to a weights, nor can I afford weights or something like that, um, they can still do the program. Um, the packs are actually coming with the resistance bands so that they can do the band fire if they need to, which also means it's fantastic for if you are traveling, you can just throw your bands in your bag and you're good to go and you can go do your workout while you're on the go. And I don't know if any of you guys follow Kelsey Smith, um, but Kelsey Smith was just in Italy for 12 days and she brought her bands and that's how she was doing her lift workouts while she was there. So I think that um, not only does it give you more time to live your life with the four day a week um, setting, but it also has that option to do the bandifier um, if you need it and you're on the go or you find yourself stuck with no weights. Um, as for, I know this question is going to come up, so I think it's important that you kind of have an idea. Um, but a lot of people are going to be asking what type of weights should they start with? Um, <clears throat> because we we have a weight we had a weight tracker so you know you start on a certain week and I could a lot of the moves I could only use five pound weights for or ten pound weights for and by week two week three you've increased the weights that you're using right um, but you're kind of tracking that progression and when things start to get easy with a specific set of weight you're obviously going to want to increase that weight so you continue to ingre um, increase you know your muscle building and also your results and your strength and your stamina right um so it was suggested um i was reading from joel in our test group that he suggests that women have a range of 5 to 20 pound weights starting out and that men have a range of 10 to 30 pound weights starting out because like i said there's different dynamic moves for each set of muscle groups so for example, you might be able to use heavier weights on your biceps, whereas when you're doing your shoulder moves, you might need to start with a five pound weight instead of 10 or something like that. There are obviously parts of our body that are not as strong as other parts and that's different for everybody. So it's important that there's kind of a, a mix of, of weights for you to get started with. And then suggesting to increase in five pound increments. Um, is important to know as well. Now, the next thing I I kind of started talking about this before, but I didn't really get into depth is um, the dynamic of who this is for. It's literally for anyone. Um, so there was a lot of men in the test group that were kind of like gym junkies or or husbands of you know coaches. Um, you know, that are doing lift for, um, and are like, I'm not going to go do my routines anymore because, um, it humbled them the way that these workouts are designed and the way that their bodies are changing. And if you've looked at the men's results, they're freaking insane. Like the men's results that are coming out of lift for are just like as mind blowing as the women's, if not more so in my opinion. Um, so this is a program that is fantastic for couples to do together. It is fantastic for women that want to lose weight. It is fantastic for women that are skinny that want to put on muscle like me. Um, it is fantastic for people that are kind of 
beginners and they want to get into kind of lifting weights and HIIT workouts, but they don't know where to begin, it is fantastic for people that are busy and on the go and don't have time for six day a week programs. Um, it's, it's again, like I said earlier, it's fantastic for people that are runners or have other hobbies that require kind of time and energy, um, or they like to go to classes or things like that to be social or just because it's something they love and they don't want to miss out on that. You know, they, maybe they like CrossFit, maybe they like spinning and, um, they don't want to have to give that up to do a program. Now they don't have to, right? Um, so those are all really important things to kind of be thinking about as you are sharing about this, as you are talking to people about it, um, because it is a little bit different um, than it has been with workout programs in the past. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, if there's questions about anything, I'm happy to answer. And just um, to remind you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and post the pricing graphics again in the team page. Um, it's, I personally, in my phone and on my computer desktop, I have a folder um, or an album that is for Beachbody graphics pricing. So I have like the Shakeology flavors in there, I have all the to be mindset packages. Like I have all of the um, things that are in there for quick, easy access when I'm having conversations. I highly suggest that you do that. Um, but I typically don't send those unless someone's super on the fence and not really sure, or they want to be kind of have a detailed description of what's in the packages. I prefer to explain it if I can. Um, but that's, it's a simple kind of um, hack for you to kind of save time when you're having conversations, not just now, but in general, to have an album like that on your phone and on your desktop. <clears throat> and I think that was it. Hey, Dana. Yes. Okay. My question is about the actual challenge group when, it's, when it launches. Um, I, I'm not looking at a calendar. Is that a Monday? Um, and are we starting on the day it launches? Or are we July? 16th. I, w I personally think that it would be, it's kind of, it's kind of tough, honestly. Um, I think that it's important to do a prep week, even though we're kind of having people go through a hybrid calendar. So we could either start the prep week on the 9th and then have it start on the date that it launches on the 16th. Um, but that leaves no wiggle room if someone has like an issue with streaming or something, you know? Right. Um, but considering, you know, PAX launch June 11th, it's going to be four workouts. And I mean, that's something that people can start doing from June 11th forward to prepare for the launch. I don't think that it needs to be like a long, um, dragged out, you know, waiting after the launch date to dive in. I think that it gives us an opportunity to set everybody up, to have them know what to expect, um, to share all the important information and things. Um, Okay. Sorry, new coach. Can you, if, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I'm saying hybrid calendar. Um, typically a hybrid calendar would be if you were to like combine two different workout programs and make your own like hybrid calendar of a program. Um, I keep just saying hybrid because it's technically not the lift for workouts yet. It's like the lift for like BOD exclusives that they're going to get when they purchase um, the packs come the 11th. So all I mean by that is, like I mentioned, Joel is going to be posting a calendar in our test group that I will be able to um, take to use for us. And he's going to include the four workouts that are launching. Um, yeah, the lift four before. Um, and then he said he's going to include some BOD exclusives in there. I don't really exactly know what that means, but it's going to be a nice little calendar that we can take and have something for all of us to focus on for the month of June, um, to get our customers engaged in for the month of June, to get new people that are diving in, um, kind of working on something and getting in that actual routine of four days a week and focusing on their nutrition before the actual launch of the program comes out. So don't mind my terminology. I'm just not really sure what else to call it. <laughs> a calendar might work. <laughs> a workout calendar, right? Does anybody else have questions? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Shoot. Um, so for me, Lift 4 and everything that I've seen for it so far, really, I feel like the marketing of it is super for like people who really want to like beef up. But for someone like me, I don't necessarily want to beef up, but I liked how ADD Obsession gave me more muscle tone. Yeah. But I also want to really like shred out. Yeah. So would I like keep to the lower weights? So I think that that honestly is gonna, it's, I'm glad that you asked that because I think that's a pretty common misconception when it comes to weightlifting in general, um, is that weightlifting will make you bulky. Um, it is not necessarily weightlifting that will make you bulky. It is food that makes bulkiness happen. Um, that was something that, that Joel did kind of talk about in our test group, but I mean, the science behind it is women do not have enough testosterone to get jacked um, like that without kind of, you know, using supplements and things. Um, Of course, you're going to build lean muscle tone and you're going to get more muscular. And if you look, if you look at some of the transformations that um, I posted in the sneak peek page, you will see all of the different body types and kind of how people's bodies transform. So people that had more weight to lose, meaning like 30 pounds or more, are just shredding fat. They're losing fat. They're building muscle tone. Um, People that were more kind of my body dynamic are really just shredding out and building lean muscle. So they're getting more muscular. Um, It's obviously um, something that is hard to kind of say until you experience, but by no means is this program going to make um, someone bulkier if that's not kind of the intention because that more has to do with nutrition. Um, So if you're eating in a weight loss plan, you're going to see weight loss happen. You're just going to also be building lean muscle, which again, lean muscle is speeding up your metabolism. So it's kind of also um, aiding that weight loss process. But I actually, Ashley, um, just posted before this call a picture of one of the girls in the test group um, and her seven-week progress, and it's amazing. Um, I'm sure some of you saw it, but you should go look. (laughs) Does anybody else have questions? Who's excited about a a four-day-a-week workout? (laughs) Who's excited about being able to have a glass of wine? I know our team is a team of drinkers. <laughs> I know Kelly. Oh, Kelly's drinking right now. <laughs> oh, and I'm always. I there. normally would be, but the prednisone says no. <laughs> I'm normally not. So <laughs> I'm with I'm with the water drinkers over here. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, guys. Well, if there is no questions, thanks for hopping on. I am super excited. Um, I am going to go ahead right now, since some of you missed that, I will post the link, the link to um, the sneak peek group again in the team page. And then I will post um, the pricing graphics again as well. And I'll just go ahead and post the, the document too, um, in case you missed that a week and a half ago or so. So um, we will see you guys next week. Night, ladies.